Hi, hi everybody. It's a impromptu stream tonight. Um, we were over on Cranky Crafters and uh, the kids were tired and they wanted to go to bed. So, um, and the dogs wanted to go to bed. So anyway, I thought I'd come over here because I'm just starting on another project. Um, on Mac doing macrame and uh, I thought I would pop on over here and um, hang, hang out with anybody who wanted to come come on over so let me switch to the overhead um, I was attempting this keychain and I made you know major boo-boos and I colored the string and I think that made it um, a little bit too uh, what do you call it stiff or uh, grabby so uh, I'm just going to use the plain cooking twine, you know, to tie up your roasts. Hello, Mary. How are you, love? There's Sandra's Beaded Heart Treasures. How are you? Jan Bedore is in the house. Linda Trey is in the house. So um, yeah, this is what I'm using. I'm using, um, and also uh, the instructions, probably because I screwed up, um, the, I was kind of short on string. So I made sure that I had... Uh, buku tons and tons and tons <clears throat> of string here so oh Mary posted a picture you posted a picture to okay let's go take a look <clears throat> you posted it in the flock Um, oh my god Lori I don't think Lori is here but you have to check this out Lori got a new kitten this is Lori from uh, Lori Loves Montana look at her new kitten or her grand kitty ma oh my god she's so cute him it's a him. Oh my god, so cute. Okay, so let's see. Mary says she sent me a picture. And now Facebook is being retarded and it doesn't want to work. Come on. Fudge. <laughs> oh, please. Okay, let's see. I don't see it, um, Mary. Okay, let's get back to this anyway. So I'm trying my hands at another um, keychain. And I can show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It has three, three uh, diamonds and uh, then some fringe at the bottom. But what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to, I added more um, more strings and I'm going to be inserting two of these beads in the center of the, of the um, oh, you can't see what I'm doing, I'm so dumb. There we go, here we go. So inside the diamonds, I'm gonna be putting these, these two beads. So that's the plan. All right, let me catch up. And there's CJ. Hello there. Um, who else? Came? Oh, Susan. Susan Baker came in. Yep, there she is. <clears throat> okay. So, the last time what I did was I added a, a couple of... Um, a couple of square knots 
to make this straight. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add square knot and square knot and then do alternating. You posted a bouquet that you made for, oh, okay, let me go take, take a look. <gasps> wow. Oh, my God, Mary. Mary has been making wedding bouquets. Wow, wow, wow. Those are gorgeous, Mary. Hi, Jenny. Your phone died a horrible death. Yeah, I hate, don't you hate that? What do you mean you didn't love your, your nephew enough, Linda, uh, Mary? Man, that's, that's spectacular. That is pretty. Oh, that's an old post, so you're going to start doing them again? That's really, that's really nice. Very, very pretty, Mary. You do such pretty work. Okay. So, I'm going to start, and I'm going to do... Oh, she divorced him. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm just going to do some square knots to try and make this level. What did I do here? Did I make a mess? Yep, I did. There we go. Okay, there's the first square. Now, are those silk flowers, Mary, or are those real, real flowers? Oh, Jenny's having apple slices and peanut butter. I had peanut butter tonight. I, uh... made Korean noodles and put peanut butter in them. Use it, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm trying. Oh, that works much better. <laughs> okay. So that takes care of that. And now, I guess I'm going to do alternating. So I'll be leaving these two out of the work and these two will get locked down and same thing over here these two will go out um, nope. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I 
I had a friend make uh, my wedding cake and I, I really don't like buttercream. Um, so she found a way to make whipped cream that stood up that would, you know, work for flowers and stuff. And man, was that a pretty cake. It was covered with all sorts of roses. All, all uh, whipped cream. All right, so let's see now. I'm working on these. So, this one and this one will get snugged down. Yeah, I don't I don't like the sweetness of the of the buttercream though. It's too sweet. So she figured out some way to make whipped cream stay together. I don't know if she put like jello in it or arrowroot or cornstarch or what. <clears throat> but it worked real good. Come on. So anybody got big plans this weekend? Whoopsie. Susan, happy anniversary! Her, she'll be celebrating her 17th wedding anniversary on Sunday. That's nice. You doing anything special? And Jenny's going to hide. Oh, and CJ's still trying to unpack her art room. Okay, what happened here? Here we go. Come on. There we go. Hubby has to work? Oh, bummer. Yeah, this will this will be the first year that Sanjay and I don't return to the scene of the crime where we got married. We got married in our favorite Indian restaurant up in New York. All right, so now let's look at what we've got here. And now I think I have to do. Did I do two of them on there? Yes, I did. How did that happen?
Yeah. I'm already screwing up again. You going to church Sunday morning? Yeah. <laughs> Poor CJ. She's been she moved four months ago and she still doesn't have her art room unpacked. She says You can tell I'm in no rush, yeah. Yeah, it'll be twenty years. Twenty years this year, this August. But you know, I don't know if I want to go back to New York. I really don't like New York. I think I have to do... I think I probably already screwed this up. <laughs> or maybe I'll just ignore it. It's not level. Maybe I need to put one more over here to make it flat. It's looking good. I was looking for, you know, a straight line. A straight line. And I really didn't get the straight line, did I? So I'm wondering if I should put one more on the ends. Not sure if that would straighten it up. Linda's got herself a bowl of cornflakes. That works. You can't get a straight line with it being curved. Okay, then I'm just not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. What did you say, Susan? It almost died before our fourth anniversary? Or did you mean he? Yeah, I, I try to stay away from cereal because me and cereal have a problem. We don't know when to stop. <laughs> oh, Mary's getting a bear hug from Tom. That's sweet. You almost died two days before our anniversary. Well, that's not good. Hello there, Margie. Yeah, I'm still macrame and I'm still trying here. All right, let's see. Let's find the center of this. That's not good uh, there, Susan. I'm glad, I'm glad God had other plans, that's for sure. All right, what do we got going on here? It's Tom's birthday, isn't it? Yes? Or is it your birthday, Mary? Whose birthday is it? Alright, so now I, what I want to do here is... Yeah, it's Tom's birthday. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so now I'm going to go down this away. Let's see if we can't screw this up. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Let me, um, because these are all, all these strings are moving, I'm going to put a couple of pins in here. Get these all combed out of the way here. There's Oh, it was that it was actually on the twenty fifth. Okay. Well happy birthday, Tom. Sorry sorry I'm a, a couple of days late. I'm 
just trying to spread these out so they don't get crossed. There. Put the cord you want to wrap in the side of the board. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Let's move this over. I want a 45 degree. So, kind of like that. And then it's going to be painful doing this. I need a bit of play. Yeah, me and Cereal have... have uh, have problems because you know you put the milk in your bowl and you put cereal in your bowl and then you know you eat the cereal and you got milk left so what do you do you put more cereal in the bowl then you get to that and you need more milk so you know it just never ends so I stay away from cereal special K came out with a um, what do you call it uh, a high protein cereal and I tried that. It was good. You know, the only off the only off switch with cereal is either running out of milk or cereal. <laughs> wow, well, I'm I'm glad things worked out, Susan, that's for sure. Cereal and ice cream? Oh my well yeah. Like if you have like Captain Crunch cereal? Oh my god, yeah, put that on ice cream. Oh my god, Captain Crunch cereal. Oh no. You just dump the milk. You don't use it. Yeah, Captain Crunch, right? Okay. You never drink the leftover milk? <laughs> Yeah, cats are lactose intolerant. My uh, my dinky doesn't even really like milk anymore. Hi, Diana. How are you? Okay, and there is this last one here. I was still wanting to play a little, so I popped over here. Yeah, I try and stay away from carbs. They're evil. Alright, so that takes care of that side. And now we can put that out of the way. And now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to start with this string over here. to tie the thing together. And I'm 
going to need, let's see. There go all my beads again. Put a pin in that side to keep it taut. You don't want, I don't want to use this string. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, because I stopped looking at the tutorial. I'm basically winging it at this point, going on memory. Okay, so I'm going to use this string. And about like yay. And I'm picking up all my beads and I'm putting them up here because they're going all over the desk. Ah, uh, thank you, Mary, sweetheart. Okay. There. They're all over there, out of the way. Come on. I need a little slack over here. Ooh, stuffed peppers. I'm waiting for my pepper. I have one huge bell pepper, but I bought a cup, you know, colored, like yellow or something, or red, and it's still green, so I'm waiting for it to turn color before I pick it, but it's getting huge. I like, I, Costco makes stuffed peppers that I really like. Is that the next one? Yeah. I wish I had a Costco near here. So this is called the double, double clove hitch, double half clove. Hubby liked them too, yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh-oh, Mary's putting on her jammies. I think last Friday I came over here to do Cranky Crafters in my pajamas. I do that twice already? No. And this one. Last string. <clears throat> well, 
What about the beads? I'm going to put the beads on next. Actually, wait a second. Now, when do I put the beads on? I'll have to think that. Think about that for a second. Because I have another another row of these that I have to do. Hi, Stephanie. How are you, my love? I am playing with macrame tonight. I'm trying to make a, a keychain here. So I have to do another row and I believe that this starts there although yes it has to otherwise it will be falling apart so after I do this next row of cord um, then I will be adding in the beads after the second row put the beads on yes that's what I'm going to do yes isn't it? I know I haven't done it since the 70s, but I was, you know, I, I live on YouTube, so um, I had recommended, um, in my recommended list was a macrame video, and I watched it, and it was just absolutely stunning. It was beautiful, so I instantly got hooked, and yeah, <laughs> now I've got the cord, I've got all sorts of goodies. I'm all set. I'm all ready to go. So, yeah. And there's something else. There's something new called macro weave where you do this macrame and you leave you leave a whole pile of these strings. You do like this. You do it straight across. And you've got this big triangle here that's left over. And you weave in between these, these ropes. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've got to pin this down tight, and I want to pin this down tight. I'm pulling from the wrong side. Um, if I don't start the core, the second row. With this, without this, you know, with this, if I start it from here, none of this will be joined up. That's where I went wrong on the last one, see? There was nothing tying the diamond together. And I believe in her, the instructional video I, video I looked at, yeah, you have to, you know, I wanted to join them. I don't want them to be separate. But the beads will pull them together? Well, I'm, I'm going to do it this way. And I won't, I won't use this one. I'll put that one over there, like so. And I want that to go like about there. Give me a wee bit of wiggle room here. So how you been doing, Stephanie? If you don't know who Stephanie is, oh my God, Deliberately Creative. Hop over there and watch her channel. Subscribe to her channel. The dandelion you did, oh my God. Oh my God, that was so stunning. That was absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try that. I'm going to start recording my uh, acrylic August videos um probably this next week here
Oh yeah, I'm liking the way this is looking. Thank you for all the help, CJ. CJ is a master crafter boy. She used to do all of this. She taught it. She knows her stuff. She actually sent me this board. Yeah, I, re I really do love that dandelion. You have another dandelion? Oh, with bubble wrap? Cool, cool, cool. I'm, uh, I'm going to definitely try that dandelion. And I think I'm going to do a lot of Surja, what's it? Siraj, Siraj. I'm going to do, um, I like his landscapes. Was that too? No. Aw, oh, thanks, CJ. Oh, really? Oh, good, 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 Stephanie. I'll have to watch. Yeah, the board really does help. It keeps it um, organized. Come on. Okay. And now we'll be doing this last one. This one doesn't get done. Okay. Let's switch everything over. I'm looking forward to it too. I think it's going to be fun, Stephanie. And now this one goes over here. Like that, correct? I have uh, I have 30 I have about like 36 or 37 canvases little canvas panels so I'm looking forward to it come on separate out oh cool Mary Mary finally got her oil paints. That is awesome. Did you get the Lucas Berlin? Because actually Stephanie is the one that told me about them. She said that she and her husband tried the Lucas Berlin and one other brand and they really liked uh, Windsor and Newton maybe it was and you, you they really liked the Lucas better. So those that's why I got that. Oh, good night, Linda. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, but man, I got to tell you, <laughs> I love oil paint. I just love the consist consistency. It's like painting with butter. It has such a nice creamy texture to it. Oh, they were given to you. Yeah. It's easier than acrylics. I don't know if it's easier or not. Um, hang on. I feel like I'm yelling because I have earphones on and I don't need the earphones on because I don't need to listen to PJ and Carrie right now. So there, that's much better. Now I'm not yelling. Um, but I do love the consistency of it. Yeah, I like the cad yellow. 
I, I like yellows. I have a link to them on Amazon um, down in the description down below. So if you wanted to look at them, Mary. I just love the creamy texture. I really do. Alright, this is the last one. Okay, Susan, you have a great night, sweetheart. Love you too. Okay, now we put the beads in. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that was a little sloppy, but that's okay. <clears throat> So here is the centers and I lost a bead here. This should be interesting. Let's try a piece of washi tape. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do yeah, two two of them there harbor freight paper beads. Okay, there's the one. Oh, come off my fingers. You've not tried these yet or opened them up, but they should still be good. Yeah, see, with the, with the Lucas, with the water mixable, you don't have to deal with any of those nasty solvents. Because I'd rather not do that. All right, so there's the two center beads. And if I snug them up, yep, they should work. Because here's the bottom of that. So now I gotta go this away. Okay. So now comes the dicey problem that I had the last time. Now, am I correct in thinking, CJ, that when I go back this way to finish the inner diamond, do I use the second string or the third? I think it's going to be pretty. I like the way the natural cord looks with the catalog pages. Well, those, you know what, those might not be catalog pages. 
but I still love them. I think I would start with the second one. I think, I think, I think. That's, that's what I'm... Although if I do that... I won't be able to get... Yep, pull out the oil paints. I think I would go this way. Yeah, because I would bring that in. I'm so confused. That's going to go over here. I do believe that, that is what happens. I, I don't, I'm not sure where CJ is. Oh, there she is. Oh, yes, um, I have, when I start to do the center, the, close the center diamond, do I start with the second or third string? I believe I start with the third. I believe that's what that gal did. I guess I could zoom in a wee bit. The third, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it should definitely make it to the bottom. In fact, there's, there's a lot of room there, so it's going to float free if it goes this way. There's plenty of wiggle room there. Oh, cool, Jenny. Jenny mixed up the paints for her next pour. So I start with the third. I lock that one down. Oh, cool. It's going to be on over four canvases. That is going to be awesome, Jenny. I want to do, I want to get back into acrylic pouring because I really enjoyed it. But I need to have some place that is level for me to um, put the paintings. Oh, good night, Stephanie. Thanks for popping in. on now. There. It was pretty easy at the house in New York to find, you know, a level surface, so I'm having I'm having issues here. The I don't think the floor is exactly a level. So I need to set up. I got to make some kind of rack, and I'm thinking probably something with um, like a crib with lots of slats that I stand up and make racks out of.
You know what? I'm almost wondering. I have a couple of these tiny ones. That. How many do I have? Um, I only have three of those. I have more of these, but I don't remember where I put them. Let me go check one drawer and see if I have more. Look out, Rose. We're sticking with those two. You have to find a cat-free zone? Yeah, I don't think you'd want... Um, I don't think you'd want cat prints in your, in your acrylic pores. in there. Come on. What happened? Oh, that's tape. There's that. Now let's organize this side. Starting with the third, third string, and going this away. slack it almost yeah they have owl patterns okay there's the first find the next one. Oh, 
Uh-oh, Jenny's zoning out. Sorry. <laughs> it's kind of like watching paint dry, I guess, huh? going on here. There we go. Just trying to straighten things out. They're getting a little wonky on me. Yeah, I went to bed at 4 a.m. And I got up at 10.30, so. <laughs> I've had a wee bit more sleep than you. This is not exactly straight, but oh well. I think I'm pulling a little bit too hard. Yeah, this got, that got pulled a little too much. Put more pins in, yeah. but not least. Let's get that in there. Come on, tighten up. many pins in the way here. That looks pretty even. Now those two, actually I have to do one more to tie it shut. Right. Let's take the pins out and straighten it out and see how horrible it looks. 
there's too much slack in a couple of these. But I guess it doesn't look too awful terrible. I kind of like the beads. So now I have to do that funky backwards um, backwards movement here where I do this. Let's see. How many do we have here? Two, six, eight, nine. These go up here. Yeah, it doesn't look too awful bad. I guess I could have put a couple of beads over there, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm using this one. Place your pin he pins heading north to stay out of your way. Oh, that's a good idea. Like that. That's much more better. -er. Okay, so now this. I'm basically going this way. So, well, sort of, no. Right? No. What am I doing? Not straight up and down, yeah. I already crossed. Yeah, well, I have to do the second row. And I thought that... On this one, she did kind of a backwards thing here. Oh, wait a second. That's after. Never mind. That's after. Okay. So now I'm now I'm doing this side. Your second string on your right hand is the one I want. Oh, this one? Hi Dana, how are you? Okay, this one? Because I'm I was gonna start over here. Because I'm left-handed. Two more to my left. So this one? Oh, okay. Yes, you are right. I start with this one. And I'm not going up. I'm, I'm working up. Yes, I am working up. Yes, I'm working up. Hello there, Chroma Storm Arts. How are ya? Okay. There we go. I'm doing good, sweetheart. Thanks for asking. This is a blast from my past. This is macrame. 
and I haven't done this since the 70s. And of course, what's the best way to learn how to do it? <laughs> Trying it first on the live stream. But luckily CJ stopped in and she's the she knows she knows this really well, so Yeah, Cranky Crafters finished. Uh, the kids were tired. So I said, all right, I'll pop by. People said that they they would come hang out. So I decided to come on over here and uh, keep, keep, keep at it for a little while longer. Oh, good night, Jenny. You got great news? Ooh, tell me, tell me, tell me. What happened? Yeah, I'm a night owl too, Mary. Oh, I hope it's I hope it's good news. Good, good, good news. Yeah, good news is always a good uh, good to hear. Now there's silence. Please tell us. You haven't been around because you bought a storefront? <gasps> really? Oh, that's fantastic. It'll be your art studio, YouTube studio, and class studio. Well, congratulations to you. That's wonderful news. God, I love to hear that somebody can actually make a go of things doing the stuff that they love. That is just so fantastic. You are, you've been so blessed. Congratulations. That is wonderful news. Right? I mean, I got a studio, but nobody ever comes here. And now I do one more. I don't, I, you know, I'm not really set up to have people show up at my door. I've got no, no shelving. I don't have my artwork on display. There we go. All right, so that takes care of that. And now I'm going to take... This one, or this one, and go up this away. Would that be it, or would it be this one? I think I start with this one. You put a sneak peek up on your YouTube channel? Oh, that's cool. Very, very cool. Let me go pop over there. and I will add it to my watch later. And, um... Building progress. Okay. Save to watch later. Okay, you're in my watch later queue.
Uh, no, again, take your last string and pull it up and continue. My last string. Last string. This one? No. This. That one? Okay, so this one I start going up with. Okie doke. Come on now. Oh, stop popping out. Heaven's sakes. Once I got over the fear and I got over the, the mirroring, I seem to be zipping along because I know I have my security blanket. CJ's in the chat room. try it this way maybe it'll hold better oh yeah uh, yes I'm making a keychain I made I made this botched attempt earlier and it got it was just a disaster so you know, and I forgot like that, so <laughs> I said, all right, I'll try it again. This was the first time I'd done it since the 70s, so <laughs> this is the second time I've done it since the 70s. Yeah, I'll watch I'll watch Chromas when I get done 
when I get done here. I'll go back to the house and relax for a little while and try and get to sleep. It's already after midnight, so... <laughs> And finally, here we go. Okay, there is the first diamond. It's a little wonky, but you know, that's okay. And I think I could actually tighten this up a wee bit. That's bothering me. There's a little too much give there. Take up the slack there. There, that's that's a little better. Okay, so now we do that funky backwards things. Oh, you're in Georgia. Okay. Are you in uh, Are you in northern Georgia, close to the? North Carolina line, or are you closer to the coast? Northwest, okay, so you're I'm about three hours uh, north of uh, Asheville. Okay, so now I do this funky thing here where this comes like that. No, it doesn't. What did I do? Did I? I think I made a mistake with that. Did I do that row backwards? Um, here's here's this one. Wait a second. No, no, no. This is is that it? No. Oh, 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. I start with this one and go this way. And then I start with this one here like that. That's what I do. Yep, I got it. Oh, I got it now. All right, that is going 
that way and I need a wee bit of slack. There we go, like that. Like that. And now we do this one. Like a soul. I got it now, people. You're going to be teaching art journaling and using it for studio space. And of course, if people want to come and buy, yeah. <laughs> okay. And now this here one. Yeah, me too. I hope you I hope you do very well. If you have the startup, Ash County is a very popular place for artists. But to be a, you, you would really need a storefront in West Jefferson, which is our our main that's too loose. Um is our touristy town, West Jefferson, and there's a lot of art galleries there. And right now, business is doing quite well. There, that's better. There. Okay, so now we do this one. Oh, you forgot to turn the phone off. Good night, Jenny. Have a good night. Speaking of getting to turn the phone off, <laughs> Sanjay has a habit of butt dialing me. And he called me on his way home from work. And we chatted for a while. And then I told him that I was trying to do something and that I had to, you know, hang up. So he said, okay, goodbye. 30 seconds later, the phone rings again. He butt dialed me. I hang up. 30 seconds later, he butt dials me again. It's like, and I kept, kept the call going, and I kept yelling at him. I was texting him. He didn't hear me. Okay, there's that. That has been done. Now, 
I have to remember which way I'm going. I'm starting with this one, I believe. Yes. Yes, that is... Yep. That's nice and straight. Let's pin that down. And now I start with this one and go this away. Pull all of those to the left out of your way. Oh, okay, yeah. There, they're out of my way. That's nice and tug tight. And now I'll start with this one. Okay. Put your side string up one more. Okay. Yep, you're right. Oh, aren't these beads nice? Check these out. These are like the first paper beads I ever made. And I think the I think these are pretty pretty much these are Harbor Freight catalog pages. But I'm I'm enjoying them. Okay. Oh, paper beads are fun. My daughter-in-law Carrie, she makes she makes precision paper beads. I mean, they look like they were made by a machine and she finishes them with um eyelets on the end, nice brass eyelets. She uh yeah, they really look good. And she does two layers of um, embossing, clear embossing powder on them. Me, I, I kind of like the raw, rustic look of these. Hers are shiny. Um, hang on a second. I have some. Let's see if I can find them. Um, hang on. They're not far. I just have to. I just have to dig. I have. Are these them? No. That's maybe. Let's see. No, those are not. Those are tools. Um. Um, um, um. I'm near them. I know that. 
I just don't know where they are. Oh, I found more junk jewelry to use on my next box. After I do, after I do the one with Sandra's beads. Oh, I just had an avalanche. Oh boy, yeah, everything's going. I do not know where my daughter-in-law's beads are, but I'll go to her website and show you. They are amazing. Yeah, I love junk jewelry. Hang on, un momento. Come on. There it is. Where are they? Here we go. These are these are her beads. I like the polka dot ones there. Yeah, I love junk jewelry. I've been making, um, oh, here, I'll show you my box. Hang on a second. So yeah, those those are her beads. She she does really amazing work on those beads. And she can do them. Yeah, she's got a lot of purple ones. Let's see. This blue one is real pretty, and these are Harbor Freight, I believe. No, Flower Catalog. They're really pretty. That's Harbor Freight catalog. I love this one, this color. So those are her beads. This is what I do with junk jewelry. Let me zoom out a wee bit. There you go. So this is a, a cigar box, and I have a diamond bracelet there, and the inside is lined with vintage wallpaper, antique wallpaper, and I have this pretty little gem here in the top, and some safety chains. It's a bling collage, you got it. So, and um, I bought a bunch of beads from Sandra's Beaded Treasures, Beaded Heart Treasures. And, um, yeah, I love the wallpaper. I have a whole bunch. I have like 24 rolls of vintage and antique wallpaper that I'm going to be cutting up and selling in my shop. But um, I decided to use it on the inside of the box, and it really worked well. So, um but yeah, I bought a whole bunch of beads from Sandra, flower beads that she makes. Doesn't she do beautiful work? I absolutely love it. Um, but I have another cigar box that I'm going to be doing completely with her beads. The whole top will be covered in her beads. So I'm very excited to start that. Okay. 
Oh, speaking of beads, on Sandra's beads, hang on a second. I have to show you. Come on, where's Sandra's beads? Where are they? Here they are. Talk about Sandra's beads. Check these out. Are they not glorious? Look at those. She is just so amazing. So, so amazing. Okay, so let's zoom back in a wee bit. All right. Oh, why did I pull that out? I'm not done yet. Holy chicken, exactly. That's Sandra for you. Don't they look real? She's just amazing. She really, truly is. And, hon, can you remind me what your name is? Is it Amanda? I can't quite remember. I'm horrible with names. Yes, Amanda. Oh, wow, I was right. How do you like that? I do have some brain cells left. And I know there's only a couple of people watching, but that's fine. I don't care. Um, but if the, if you're members of the flock, um, it sign up for the July friendship swap is opened. So you can go sign up if you are so amused. Oh, that's okay. That's right. Yes. Yeah, Carrie got one of your pendants. Right, and here is the last one. And now we should be back to square one. There. All right, that was one complete repeat. Straighten that out. Um, you can certainly do it with, with um, any type of yarn you want, but you have to remember if it stretches, you're going to have issues. This is cotton baking, tw baking twine or the stuff you wrap your roast beef up in. And it doesn't really stretch. Okay, so now I started this way to do this, this one up here. Yes.
You have tons of yarn? Yeah, exactly. Use it up. There's a method called um, macro weaving. And let me post, let me, um, let me find the video and post a link to it. Hang on one second. Macro. We there it is macro weave tutorial here we go here you go this is macro weaving and this you could do with any yarn you're building your macrame piece with the cotton cord or you can also use the polyester cord um, one of the gals that I watch all the time, she does the polyester braided cord um, to make like totes and they don't stretch out of shape or anything. But um, you, you'd use your fancy yarns and your wools and your acrylics and your rovings um, with the macro weave. So check out that video. That's the one that I watched that really got me interested And I have a lot of yarn also, so I think I'll be I'll be using some of it. I have a bunch, I got a bunch of yarn um, that had all different sizes, all different thicknesses. I got like a skein of each. And I have I have some strange yarn in my hoard. Yes, I have a hoard. Um so I'm definitely going to try that. But the yarn that I bought specifically for a new project is uh, all neutral colors. So I didn't want to do, you know, like variegated yarn or anything because I thought that that would take away from the patterns. But Jute was the cord of choice in the 60s. Yeah, it's kind of rough, though. I mean, unless you get polished hemp cord, that would be nice to work with. And I saw a, a spool of uh, hemp cord on Amazon. It was like $250. Yeah, it's much nicer now. Yeah. And this needs to go up one. I saw Jute in Walmart today, and I, uh, the other day, and I said, no. I know, right, Amanda? $250. I don't think so. You think rather highly of that, of that rope of yours, don't you? You can keep it. <laughs> Stop going wonky on me. I'm supposed to be going straight. That's that's a little better. I think that person will be very happy with their uh, hemp cord. Keep them warm in the winter. Yeah, th the thrift stores will definitely work, especially for like that macro weaving. That's going to, that's, I, I can't wait to start that. I have to build some kind of frame. Um, the video that I sent you, she uses uh, table legs. She basically just turns the table up on its side. And I don't think I've got the room to do that. So I'm going to have to come up with some kind of frame. Yeah, thr thrift stores and um, yard sales. They're always good for yarn also.
go. Okay. And now I don't do the last string. Maybe, yeah, I, I've always wanted a loom. I, I spin my own fiber. I have three spinning wheels and probably a dozen or more spindles. So I, I'd love to do, I've actually won awards for my fiber. Um, but I never did get a loom. I have one of those, you remember when you were a kid in like, kindergarten and you made the pot holders I have one of those looms you can make squares to um, you can make squares to sew together if you want Yeah, it's got to be that one. Got to really pin this down so it doesn't move on you. You use Eslon for a lot of your macrame? Oh, cool. I was going to try and do micro macrame tonight, but I I thought I would, could do it with this, but it's too, obviously, it's too thick. You use knitting needles to do simple weaves? Oh, that's a good idea. If you put a... a, a um, a knitting needle up here and pinned it down in place and then another down here you could definitely use it But yeah, weaving is something I've always wanted to do. I still would like, I'm still thinking of getting like one of the, the smaller Ashford looms. They're about the cheapest that you can get. Because I do love to play with fiber. That's going to go up one more. Yeah. Are you still a member of the flock, Amanda? If you are, post about your 
your store in there because we have members that live down in South Carolina close to the border of North Carolina so that's pretty close to where you are Yeah, I like to play with fabric, too, yeah. You have a great book of fabric collage? Wow. I have... My, my fabric collection goes back at least 30 years, and some of that is antique fabric that I bought 30 years ago. So, uh, yeah, I love fabric. My most, most of the storage in my studio right now is completely full of fabric there we go um so yeah i i love fabric i was a professional quilter for a while until it took out my neck and then i had to give it up my last quilt was appraised at ten thousand dollars and uh was in a, a magazine rushing to get it to the publishers not a magazine into in a book rushing to get it to the publishers in time did my neck in in fact i can even show you a picture of it let me go get it i can't sew clothes don't ask me to follow a pattern because that just will not happen no way, Jose. It's not going to work. Um, let's see if I can. Yes, yes, poor doggy. Yes, yes, yes. Hang on here. Let me find. Uh, albums. Let's look at albums. This was my last quilt. It's about queen size. It's a wall quilt. And it's all silks and satins and velvets and um, high, you know, good quality cottons and uh, batiks. There's a close up. I'm getting a little bit closer. And there's paint on it. And I have an open door here and a room and then a window and through the window you see a beach and a sailboat uh, this is a piece that I gave to my parents you can you can see uh, see there's even a reflection on the on the glass door say that reflection there uh, this was a tiny little one that I have um, it, it's called spike or here spike and it's basically that's my imaginary pet dragon he exists from the tail back that's it <laughs> there's his tail um, this was a quilt I made for my father's 80th birthday that was the absolute last quilt I did until I made a small one here um, a couple months ago. So, yeah. So, those are my quilts. Let's see. Let me go back and look at my fibers. There they are. That one I spun myself. There, there. It's lace weight yarn. Um, 
here's a companion again another lace weight yarn um, this was I can't remember what this was but there's a ton of it I, I use oh I know what it yeah it was I think it was um, merino and I used it to make a, a massive shawl And there's some fun stuff I did. That's kind of bulky. This one's, uh, I want to use this for weaving. This is lumpy bumpy stuff. I absolutely love it. It's got so much. Once you learn how to spin fiber thinly, it's very difficult to make the thicker art yarns. You just want to keep going thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. Um, here's some nice purple stuff that I did. And here's another mixed media or mixed fiber that one was lots of fun that's like petting a bunny that's that's one of the uh, vests that I knitted and see lace, lace weight yarn <laughs> that's the shawl I made this is actually a um, a lace tablecloth. You only spin merino, yeah. <laughs> I like to spin all sorts of stuff. There's the the shawl I made. It was a lace tablecloth, and I just I divided the pattern so it would split up the middle. That's a sweater I did for for Sunjay, but. Um, so yeah, that's that. And uh, I also do blacksmithing. You can see some blacksmithing stuff here. And I do wood turning. Here's some of my wood turning pieces. So, yep, that's that. I like to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a big beautiful lathe sitting back in New York. Um my father bought it for me it's from New Zealand so eventually it'll end up down here okay so now I have to go backwards and go this way and let's see yeah, I started with the second. And I want to go this way. Yeah, that's my thing. I do stuff and go on to something else. If you remember a couple... Well, let's see. When was it? I'll zoom out. I have to zoom out to show you this because it's huge. These are all paper tubes. I roll up catalog pages and then I paint them the colors that I need. And um, then I glue them down. So this, is, this, thing, this thing weighs a ton. It's 16 by 20. So. I want to make more of those. I'm just waiting for an idea to pop into my head. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. And 
copy a pour with my tubes, that would be insane. <laughs> that would truly be insane. Okay, I want it to kind of, yeah, go like there. So, I want it to go up there. Oh, Mary always wanted to do home decor, yeah. Oh, do the Christmas windows on uh, Fifth Avenue in New York. You've always wanted to to do that. Oh wow, cool. I uh I'm not that good a, of a decorator, I guess. I I've never, you know, had Finery, if you want to call it that. I've always had, um, I, I've always had the decorating style of uh, American uh, garage sale roadside acquisition. That's always been my my type of decorating. Your sentences are not making sense, Mary, huh? <laughs> that has to get a bead put on it. Yeah, I'll post a picture of it to the flock when I'm done with it, Amanda. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad you're back. And I, I, again, I wish you great success. And please do post a link, um, you know, to your website and all of that. And like the studio grand opening and all of that. I think that would be great. It'd be, it would be awesome if I knew of a flocker that came down there to visit you. Okay, and you get a bead on you right now. And you don't have a piece of washi tape on you. So let's get some washi tape on you. Okay. OK. 
Come on. Doesn't want to come out. There we go. There's that bead. Hey, Joy, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm doing a late night stream. I didn't feel like going to bed after Cranky Crafters was over. I am making a um, You're up at this hour too? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a piece. I'm making a macrame keychain. And I'm using just butcher twine and uh, my paper beads. To decorate so that's that's what I am doing at this very moment CJ watched the disaster and guided me through it um, at, Cr at Cranky Crafters and uh, I was on a roll I wanted to do more so I decided to PJ and Carrie were tired so I decided that I would come over here and start a stream so there put that there like that and I want to go there so I'm going to put it like there Let me zoom back in so you can see a little bit of what I'm doing. The only macrame you ever did was in elementary school 30 years ago. Uh, I haven't done macrame since the 70s. Come on, tighten up a little, please. There. 
It is time consuming. Yes, it is. But I kind of enjoy it. It's kind of, I don't know, meditative. Once you understand the pattern, and I looked at I looked at the video tutorial of this pattern <clears throat> for all of like five minutes. Once once I knew the pattern, I was good to go. That's kind of the way I am with crochet and knitting and I, I'm pretty good at reading knots and whatnot and seeing what direction I have to go in. Once I get familiar with what they look like. There we go. And now for the last one, which I pinned down. Yep. There we go. Okay. Now I have to tie these two together so we don't have flappage. I think, folks, I don't know, do I want to start the other one? I'm not sure I want to start the other one now. I think what I'm going to do is end the show here. And I can come back and finish this maybe tomorrow. Because my back is getting a wee bit cranky. So who knows, maybe I'll pop in to uh, do a Facebook Live tomorrow or... Uh, no, I don't want to mess things up in my OBS again. That was a disaster. Um, but anyway, it's after 1 o'clock. So I think I'm going to end it here, guys. I want to I thank the six of you that are still watching and for hanging out with me. I had so much fun. Um, over in Cranky Crafters, and, and I'm so happy that a couple of you followed me over here. Yeah, yeah, you're an hour behind me, yeah. So, uh, but uh, my back is getting cranky, so I know it's time to quit. <clears throat> but, uh, th I want to thank you all for, for following me over here on a, on a surprise Friday night stream. And, uh, thanks for hanging out with me in the good chat. And Mary, it was so wonderful to hang out with you again. I've been missing you so very much, and um, I, I hope you are well. I pray for you every day, you and Tom. Um, I love you all very, very much, and if you're new to my channel, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I am retired. It's my only means of income. Um, if you like to buy artwork, you can check out my website, 70acresstudio.com. I got lots of things up there. I just, I just loaded... Uh, I just put up a whole bunch of greeting cards that I've made, um, so go check them out. I'm doing painty paper packs, scrap packs, antique and vintage wallpaper packs, so there's all sorts of things happening over on my website, so you can go check that out. And if you want to uh, hang out with uh, 400 buddies and uh, loving and encouraging safe space uh, where we do swaps and whatnot, come on over to the flock on Facebook. All the information is down in the description box below. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys, tonight. I so appreciate your time, and I love you all very, very much. So I will talk to you all very soon. Good night, flockers!